Yeah, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, another little look at these uh, carrots. Now, these are the ones in the square foot gardening and as you can see they're standing up straight looking beautiful. So, these are nice and healthy at the moment. These are my third successional sowing. They've had this uh, pallet collar around them, so giving them a little respite from uh, the bright sunshine and they're all looking fairly healthy at the moment second sowing those aren't looking too bad showing signs of uh, brownness on the uh, leaf and we've got some there that are showing signs that they're also uh, dying there as well We've already took some out of this bed. And then moving on to my first sowing. And it's looking like it may be something else. It's all weather related. Some of these are looking okay, but I did notice then we've got lots of ladybugs, ladybirds on these. Now, ladybirds mean they're after some food. And I think the other one has disappeared. I've had a look to see if I can see any aphids and I can't. I don't know how big they are. Looking at the pictures on Google, they looked a lot bigger than I thought. So the ladybird there is uh, still hovering around that one. And we had a few suggestions that it could be uh, motley dwarf virus, uh, possibly caused by the uh, carp carrot willow aphid. And I'm going to do a little experiment tonight because it did mention we've already seen some little split carrots and we've seen some little bit of rot, all to telltale signs of uh, this new thing. So looking at my giant carrots, this one still looks uh, reasonably healthy. A few drop leaves, but we'd expect that with the uh, heat that we're having at the moment. Again, a few drop leaves, just showing telltale, say, telltale signs. And then you get to this poor blighter and that one yeah she's completely flattened so this is one of the giants um, it's a world record variety so i don't know how big it's going to be big enough i'm going to fetch this one out as well I'm going to give those a, a quick wash and then we're going to do an autopsy. So stay with me guys. So this is uh, one of the carrots that's just started to go, uh, the first sowing. And uh, that's a lovely carrot anyway. And if I don't find what I think I'm going to find inside, then uh, yeah, it's edible. It's edible so we can actually use it. Just wait for the mower to go by. Okay. So, we'll uh, cut this one in half. Maybe if I'd uh, used uh, a different little clean knife. I'll just quickly do this one before the mower comes back. see what I needed to see in there which was some black lines so I'll just hold you there for a moment so we'll just have a go at this one clean my knife because I shame I could probably eat this one but it's more important to find out what's actually going on now what uh, it does describe is having a black marks down there we've got no evidence of that uh, at all so waste not to uh, want not as they uh, say we'll be doing a little uh, excuse me with that I'm just going to uh, see if I can take another slice off that 
but there. That's probably just the stalk. But there's no sign of any of the black tracking and that carrot had almost died. I've just been back to have a look just to see if um, it was wet enough and it was. But it's a job to keep unwatered but these tap roots weren't as far down as this so uh, that's you know well down there and another six inches will be down into the manure and uh, that does uh, look quite nice I'll uh, just freshen this up uh, I always bring some bottled water up with me just to give everything a swill off and a uh, quick taste test well at least that's my uh, first carrot uh, eaten for this year. And just while I'm in autopsy mode, uh, I'm really impressed with the Sparkler 3 radishes, even though they've uh, got to um, quite a, a good size. Um, I know if they do get some of this damage on top they do tend to where uh, the grubs tend to get in uh, and have a good go but yes well impressed I'll just give that a wash off uh, reasonably clean very nice very nice indeed so I highly recommend the Sparkler 3 nice and warm tasty and uh, good value for money especially if you sp sow them only two or three per little station these are my giant beetroots and if you remember they got flattened down and uh, now uh, it's gone to seed so that probably will not uh, grow much but i will uh, take that off this is a shame but this weather and today we're on the Thursday the 25th and it's going to be one of the highest uh, uh, UV rays whatever so um, I've been out in it all day trying to uh, keep covered up but we have to wear full PPE hard hats and everything not not very pleasant this time of the year but we'll monitor these hopefully we can stop that going to seed my first couple there of the yellow courgettes the zucchinis doing well now and these are some of the uh, bedfordshire champions and some of the shallots uh, those uh, these here uh, came from uh, alan he's saved seed so thank you alan from the dawn chorus plot what i was sent as a giant uh, cabbage is actually uh, a giant Kurobi, so we'll see how they get on and uh, some of these beetroots that were ooh, some of these beetroots that uh, I interplanted uh, they've got too big now but this mulching has really helped now, I've never watered this I know we've had some rain recently but it's uh, I reckon well we've got uh, quite a bit of uh, broccoli coming on and it does look like I need to take that one there but uh, for me uh, that's a, a good size I'll best take that with me tonight else we're going to be in trouble with that and keep an eye on uh, some of the others now this is one of my cauliflowers it isn't very big uh, but um, if it does stay uh, good just bend the leaves over there to uh, stop it going uh, a funny colour must keep an eye on those but that would be one of my first ever cauliflowers grown so I shall be taking one of those very soon and all of them now are uh, showing some sort of form this one's got all its leaves wrapped around it but uh, pleased with those and I'll probably uh, take uh, that uh, some of the smaller ones because uh, I do want to make sure I do get one 
Well, see if YouTube gives me this as one of my thumbnails again. Um, it is going a little bit uh, rotten, and uh, if we get any more rain, which we will do, if we get one of these horrific thunderstorms that we're expecting, uh, up to uh, two inches of rain in an hour, I think a lot of this will uh, end up uh, not brilliant, but that's that's what they're supposed to look like without the variegation. I will be saving the seeds. Not everyone agrees with me, even on the groups. But these are some more of the uh, uh, big onions. And then we go down to the uh, show ones. These are the Kelsey. And uh, no signs of them going to seed. So we'll have a few nice onions. My dad will love those. That's the only onion he can tolerate is a Kelsey. Parsnips. Uh, this can also be affected by this uh, aphid. So whether it is an aphid or not, it's just that this leaf here looks exactly like what they describe now. Uh, not blight as such, a bit of everything I think, but more of what uh, we said earlier. These were originally save seeds, so I've literally got <laughs> all the same variety and it's a pity they're in uh, a better flower, but that'll be uh, nice uh, just to look at. Oh, he says. Ooh, let's wait till that one opens up then another time. Uh, you'd expect this sun is very bright. These are Bill and Val's peas. Um, I've been eating those uh, like that. I'm not sure whether these Without the purple flowers are the uh, like a mange two type, but they're still as tasty. Um, the uh, these uh, where are we? Let's have a little look at you. Aren't you gorgeous? But uh, these pods now are filling out, and I'll definitely save some of these seeds. Uh, it's so pretty to look at. Uh, these are uh, Kelly's variety. And there are the Oregon sugar pod. And that was a pheasant eating somebody's uh, veg, no doubt. And these pods on uh, the uh, Telegraph P. And uh, do they grow to six foot? There we go. Oh, they've reached the top of the trellis in. Uh, these are Bill and Val's uh, Pomgo. I haven't had a look at these just lately. These haven't been really watered much. No need. These new beds are absolutely brilliant. Uh, again, Kelly Kitchen Garden and Richard and Paul's uh, Cheeky Prince. Not sure whether that one has uh, set or not. There's a few there. But that one there doesn't look as good as that one there. Probably getting more light. nice though and these are my usual uh, peas so I will buy fresh seed next year I, I did this year because everybody was struggling with beans peas uh, carrots and everything one of those years and we go for the uh, long beans pole beans whatever you like to call them that's right I'm just eating a pea um, the uh, the flowers uh, if you go into my playlist and look under uh, uh, one minute tips, I'll, that shows you exactly how to help pollinate these if they're struggling. Because we know we always get a few flowers drop off. So have a look and uh, you'll see how that's done or how I do it, if and when. Let's get these, uh, these are come out the sides, we'll get those wrapped round. Got quite a few varieties here. Hopefully I won't get them mixed up. Everything seems a bit slow this year. Don't know why. And uh, telepathy cucumbers. They just started to come. Um, if I get a chance and this survives getting home, I'll show you uh, everything in the greenhouse. It looks so much better indoors. Well, that sunflower is growing really well in the wood chips. 
I, if I'd got time this year, I would have filled one of my beds with wood chips or soil and then topped them up with wood chips. Just to see the wood chips here are about eight to 10 inches thick. So it's doing well. Um, I forgot to show you recently, but after I found that massive amount of compost, I found another 27 um, containers. These are 30 litre pots, probably 20 litres in. So do the maths, 28 times 20. No sign of blight, he says, as he looks closely. <laughs> This is my compost runoff bin, so I collect all the juices, saves them just flowing into the ground. Uh, Mr. Rat uh, was desperate to get in, and that was blocking the hole. So uh, what have I done? Now I get in. <laughs> and no doubt he's had a gnaw at those nails, but not getting through there. Uh, this uh, all collapsed uh, in those uh, that rain. I'm just tempted to leave it there. Give it a good pruning maybe. Hashtag Shed Wars, what a time saver this is. This is my uh, gravity fed uh, rainwater guttering. That's ordinary rain uh, guttering on the house. It uh, basically goes, uh, it's square guttering. It goes from here all the way around the greenhouse. I didn't put any pots under there so I've covered the um, in to stop any green growth so let's go and have a look see if that worked um, and probably green as anything yeah. no. no that certainly works covering any water up will stop everything uh, the melon's a little bit slower here than it is at home celery are loving this and we've uh, got some more yellow cores yet. So we've spread things around and uh, this is one of the uh, red ruffled um, from uh, Marie Curie. And these were from a fellow uh, plot holder. And uh, this one, Champion Dwarf Stop, that was off Jazz from an alternative small holding. And my uh, giant uh, red cabbage. Now, if this keeps going, right up to uh, end of September. I'm in the chance of uh, winning a prize. The competition is still being held, even though Malvern isn't going ahead. Canna uh, with Medwins of Anglesey are joining together to do a virtual uh, competition. Update you on that. Sunflowers. Can't grumble. They've all turned their heads towards the sun. They make a, a wonderful display later on. I've only got one apple on this last year. As we know, when we actually dug all this out and got all those horrible rooty bits from the wild flower seeds, uh, hopefully now I've got enough there to uh, make a nice uh, apple pie up. I think that's like a cooking apple. Another casualty, I'm gonna cut that open in a bit just in case uh, that's got any signs of anything on it. I planted these from our garden when we dug everything up here and this year they've just started to, uh, to flower. Do like to see those. The orange ones are nice as well, but I do like this uh, red variety. And don't ask me what it is, guys. Ain't got a clue. And the uh, sunflowers uh, survived that uh, hail damage. And they are uh, flourishing. That's gonna be a lovely display, Nick. So if anybody else has got any more information, I was thinking it was uh, the carrot leaf blight and then we've looked up Motley Dwarf Virus and uh, the carrot willow aphid 
it's the aphid that uh, doesn't do the damage but passes on all the viruses so many many thanks for all the comments i think everybody's found the uh, previous video useful please comment again on uh, your experiences uh, with this uh, horrible uh, infection virus etc happy gardening to you all please uh, like comment uh, and consider subscribing Until next time, my friends. Giraffe for now.